in empty atlas every continent must have an, an important nation and today on this video we'll be talking about the nation that was the most important in australia terror australis the Aussie nation that was and still is the biggest all stories must have a start and today's nation start on the 20th of november when mwea truck marched here and 999 made the town known as Roma Australis. They started to build a port, later some place joined and they started to build a castle near it and they finished the town. After that, the nation Australia was made by the user Imaugstar and became the biggest nation in Australia. Not for long though, as it only lasted a week, but more or less at the same time, Terra Australis was founded by, by MW Yatrak, but it didn't get a lot of attention. But when the nation of Australia was disbanded by Marouche himself, it got a lot more attention. Some days later, 999 got the leadership of Terra and recruited some nearby towns like Toowoomba or New Pompeii. Then some days later, Kain Kain joined, but not for long, because it left that day, because they made their own nation, Queensland. But that nation didn't last long, as it long only lasted a week before we met merged again with terror and at the same time the worst about if Australia the New Zealand nation soon merged but and as a tie so the merge didn't go through at that moment at that moment since it later merged with it intermission we finished the 2019 part of terror stories where most of the interesting bits happened now we're going into 2020 by far the most successful year of the nation but also the only one that experienced completely to start 2020 the nation grew super fast since it, it recruited lots of towns in indonesia and the indies and it became the third largest nation in the server they decided it would be a really good idea to make a new capital its name was jeff but that name was a placeholder since they needed a good name they so they did a boat and the t name Tamala won. So Tamala was the new name for capital. Everything was going pretty smoothly to be honest. But after some days it fell. That caused a big problem in the nation. So big they had to change the leader to a host from him. Roxanne Tall made a town with his halt as fast as possible. So they could get the capital fast back as as fast as possible. And he named it Jeff Hu. Later, he invited Waffles so she could get the leadership. Then everyone waited for the dude who got the leadership after the capital fall so Waffles could get the leadership. Name said she would have. Sometime later, Name quit MC Atlas, but before he made a um, town in mainland China named Lei Su. And this was when the Outer Orta merge happened. Then the dude who got the leadership when Tamara filled the nation, left the nation and made the screen as well. It was the latest after like two hours since since it merged with the US this, with the US. Then nothing interesting happened. In February, Waffles noticed the nation was dying a bit, so she thought it would be a good idea to make Roxanne Tall Emperor. But after some discussion, they agreed to keep her as the empress and, makes ro and make rocks cooking. And that was a really good idea since the start. It didn't help a lot, but sometime later, it boosted a lot the nation. In March, nothing really interesting happened, but two things happened. These things are the disbanding of the, city of the first Sydney, the one that was made by Del On, and it was. Uh, and it's been there since the outer Aorta and the player and the player by the name Cockroach Dundee aka Fizzy McNugget aka Ned Kelly joined. He grew to be one of the most known players in the nation, even becoming assistant. And Rox confirming he will become Emperor of Terra Stories if Rox ever quitted us. Something that doesn't seem likely at the moment. A lot of towns that were in Terra moved to Indonesia, a nation that seemed like it would replace Terra Australis. Ersets. 
To start the month, a lot of the original people in the nation, like Posta or Wealth Castle, left. But a side effect of that was that the nation started its second golden age. Yeah. We invited some towns such as Palau or Coffs Harbor, and Sydney was remade. In May, nothing too interesting happened, but the discussion for new cities stand with waffles starting now, and the first, first map of Australia was finished. It was made by Roxanthal again, and there was talk about us merging with another nation. But the nation started its golden, its second golden age, so it didn't happen. In June, shit went down at the start of the month because of a really big discussion that was with the old Cheva leader. That led to Vegas out of context rock speak. But some days later, the Australian can went up uphill by a lot, a fuck ton. It went up to 60 people. In July, nothing happened. Or did it? That's right, people! One of the most famous people joined in us last year in the nation! Welcome, South the Night Five. The nation picked up this time with 90 residents, and that's it for July. In August, the plans for a July remake started, and everyone was so excited because it was on hold for a really long time. So we started building a parliament, a park, and some other bits, and the map shop was made. I got a lot of customers, but unfortunately, a week later, we some towns started to fall, so a lot of towns started to pay over claim. But it didn't get really bad, fortunately. A week later, a thing was announced. That was the stage. Woohoo! That meant that Charles Tully was divided in states, and each state would have a leader. They were called the state leaders. Wax didn't think a lot, lol. And literally two days later, an insistent was added to a nation, named Little Combat King. September didn't go well at the start, because a lot of sad stuff happened too. To start, the grave of an IRL player was found at the west of Australia, so everyone was really sad and gave a lot of their possessions to pay respects. Then, two weeks later, Colombia became an enemy of the nation, but not for long, since the enemy status only lasted one hour. Lol. One week later after that, the capital, Dilara, fell, because the of the inactivity of the leader waffles from me. That meant that the de facto leader, Rox, became the real de leader. FINALLY! and Cairn became the capital after some time. October was really bad. If you thought June was bad, that was like heaven compared to this. Why might you ask? Well, Project Blackout. That shit was the whole reason for the disband of some towns and the summit death of some big towns in Terra, like Sydney. But fortunately, that was the only bad thing that happened that month because it was fixed some two weeks later, since the problem was with Solong, a town that was in trouble for a long time and helped a lot. And the poker game's leadership was handed to Rox, something that definitely didn't help a lot, but at least it gave some publicity to the towns in Terra's trolleys. In November, it started pretty good, since we got one of the oldest towns in the server, Empire City, but some time later, there was a problem by trying to remove homophobia. That, that was seen as homophobic, I don't know why to be honest. And at the end of the month, the Trua Australia's military was made, so a lot of players joined it, including people from another nations, such as Gamer552233. And at that moment, Alvaro SGDC made a religion about the terrorist police leader. And to finish the year, on December, Alvaro SGDC became an assistant on the nation after being on it for 11 months, quite some time to be honest. And after some days later, one half the people online were from the nation, but to be fair, there were only 6 people online at the moment, and 3 were from Terra. Then the capital kind has it, had its 1 year anniversary, so, well, 1 year anniversary of the ownership. So there was a little party with a video that was released some days before this one. And to finish the video, the lapis set the war. It was started because some people stole territory and tools from Terra, so we declared war on them and won. Well, it was like one versus two, 
Yeah, one versus two. Well, that's it, people. Hope you liked. And the next video will probably be a meme, so stay tuned. And thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.